Today, I want to talk about the Otherworld Computing Hub. It's known as the OWC Thunderbolt Hub. It is a Thunderbolt 4 device and also USB 4. So it can work on a PC and it can work on a Mac. OWC makes devices specifically for Mac and they've been doing so for many years and they've been doing a pretty good job of it. Since my early days with my first laptop, the 2007 Mac Pro, I've been buying and using OWC products, whether it's memory upgrade or their hard drives. And I'll tell you this, I still have those equipment and they're still working well flawlessly after all this time. You can certainly purchase lots of different hubs and other accessories for Macs on Amazon because there are tons of devices out there. And of course, everybody likes to save some money by buying some of these devices. However, I will say this, if you spend thousands of dollars on your Mac or MacBook Pro, you'll be better off buying something of known quality that works, guaranteed, rather than taking a chance on something that could damage your machine. We've heard horror stories about people who bought stuff and it damaged their ports or damaged their machines. OWC makes really good quality stuff. They're pricey, pretty much like buying your Mac machine or anything Apple related, but you know it works. That being said, I got this when I was utilizing the MacBook Air and I wanted to have some additional ports. For me, being a photographer, doing video content creation, I have external drives that I use as well as card readers in addition to external monitor I want to drive. Having the three ports on the back of this device allowed me to be able to connect monitor, external drive, and my card reader. So for me, my setup is pretty simple, but if you check their website, you'll find that there are many other devices that they sell. There are bigger docks that can give you more ports. Personally, I've been migrating to USB-C in all my devices because I like the smaller connector and I like that it works. Now that we have Thunderbolt 4, which is USB 4 as well, and the cables are backwards compatible, woo, it's all great for me. So that's what I use for all my equipment. And my camera, the Z6, supports uh, USB-C, which allows me to just plug into it, charge it, and it works seamlessly. Now, I've tested it with a MacBook Pro as well to see how things work out. And of course, the MacBook Pro has three ports, but that does mean that you can use some extra. Oh, before I forget, it does have a USB-A port on the front of it. So for those of you who want to have that extra port, my friend from F-Stopper, you should pick up one of these or one of the other ones with the multiple ports. I've been doing Bluetooth for years and I prefer to use Bluetooth devices, especially since I've discovered that on a Mac, it's really seamless and really easy to connect. I don't have any problems connecting the external keyboard to it and mouse, so it works fine. But again, being a Mac guy, what did I do? I went out and I bought an Apple mouse and an Apple keyboard. I did have the Logitech one with my PC that works quite well and allows me to link up via Bluetooth, but I just wanted the Apple trackpad because that works better for me. But ask me, your preferences may require to use regular keyboard and mouse, that's okay. You do you, I do me. Whatever you find more comfortable to work with, then that's what you choose. As a PC tech over the years, I've been dabbling in Mac as well. And I can say that I'm pretty comfortable with both platforms and I can seamlessly work from one to the other. I'm not an expert on it. I just prefer to use it as how it is. Plug, play and go. But of course, when you get on the PC side, there's a lot of tweaking that are messing around. Ugh, don't like dealing with that. So I'm actually happy to have the Mac back. In testing out speeds of drives, and they seem to go a little bit faster when you're connected to the hub. Well, not so much on the MacBook Pro, but more the MacBook Air. And I think that could be a limitation of how the device is uh, set up. I can't say for sure why it works that way, but that has been what I noticed on it. So for those of you looking for a simple hub, I'd recommend this one. It's quick and easy to use. If you want something bigger, they do sell another one. 
Actually, they have multiple devices you can choose from. And there is another, I think it's an 11 port or 14 port, I don't remember. But whenever I wanted to order that one, it's usually out of stock, you gotta pre-order it. The pre-order's up again because they ran out of stock. Uh, I missed the, you know, the order last time. I may order that one, but I probably don't need it because three ports on here, three on here. I think I'll be good to go. The only thing that I may think about is maybe the travel hub, but moving from PC and going all Mac right now, this is actually working for me. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel. I hope you find the information useful. And I hope you come back for more. I look forward to hearing your comments and anything that you want to know about Macs, PCs and so on, throw the questions my way. But well, I'll say this, these days I'm mainly Mac focused, but I can still answer some questions. Stay tuned and please subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. I'll be having more Mac related content and peripherals coming in the future. Bye for now.